Why would I want a one-celled Google Sheet? Let me count the ways. Before we get to the reasons why, let me preface this video by sharing with you that I created Tiny Sheets. It's a completely free Google Sheet add-on. You can go to your own Google Sheet, search in extensions for get add-ons, and you can search for Tiny Sheets and you'll find it. Or you can go to tinysheets.bettersheets.co and right here, you can download and install Tiny Sheets into your Google Sheet. What it does is it creates a one-by-one -one sheet in one click or a one-row sheet or a one-column sheet or probably the most important one, it will delete all of the rows and all of the sheets outside of the data range you have. So go and get that. And now back to why would I want to make a one-celled Google Sheet? Hey, so when you're using Tiny Sheets, one of the biggest uses for Tiny Sheets is so that when you have a sheet that has multiple rows and columns that you have no data in, sometimes we want to just display that data and delete all the columns and all the rows that don't have data. So we can go up to extensions, Tiny Sheets, once we have that installed, and we can delete rows, columns outside of the data range, outside of data. And so in one click, it will literally run this script and delete everything that doesn't have data outside of the range. This is very, very useful if you find yourself adding more columns, adding more rows, and not needing them in the future. Now, let's get to why would I want a one-by-one a one by one sheet, one column, one row, one cell. What is it? One reason that I particularly use it is for app script. I'll put an API key in there. If I don't want to hard code the API key into the app script, I want it somewhere in the sheet. Maybe I'm creating a template for someone else and I'm like, hey, put your API key on this sheet called API key. Then I know it's the data, wherever they put it, is always going to be on the sheet API key and it's always going to be an A1 or row one column one. What's interesting about this is not just API keys, but sort of any piece of information you might want to get from someone and you're creating an app script for them or you're creating a template for them. It could be for clients. It could be for uh, people that you're working for, your boss. And you're like, here's a, I need this piece of information in a particular place. Where do I save it? Now, I don't necessarily want to tell someone maybe that I'm working for or even someone who's working for me, a virtual assistant or someone who might not know as much about Google Sheets as I do, I don't really want them going up here to extensions app script, and I don't really want them messing around in there. Maybe if they learn it, of course, I want them writing some app script, but they, I just need a piece of data from them. I'll create a one-by-one -one sheet. I'll, I'll create a one-cell sheet, and it has a name. You know, I'll say API key, or I'll say put your name here, or put the name of the project, or the date, whatever it is that I need. If I need one piece of information, I'll ask them to go there. Now, other reasons might be that I find myself creating sort of a starting page or some kind of first page of a project that I want to write some notes on. And every time I create a new tab, it always has 26 columns and it has a thousand rows. And I'll write some information here, information and here maybe like this. And I have 26,000 cells that I don't use. And so I need to delete all of these. But if I start from a one by one cell and then I add, you know, maybe 10 rows and maybe add a few columns, right? Insert column to the right. This is a bit faster, a little bit faster than having to go big and come small, right? Start small and add to it as I need it. Sometimes I only need like a three by three kind of information, just a few notes. Now, there's some other reasons for tiny sheets, like a one column sheet. Oh my God, I use this all the time for drop down menus. Now with the new insert drop down, and then you can select drop down from a range. That range is usually a list somewhere. And so I'll name it here and I'll put that list somewhere else other than in the data that I'm using. A CRM might have statuses. You might have all sorts of different, say, what country someone is from. You want a list of all the countries or time zones. And if you want to create something, maybe not a list vertical down, but you want to create some kind of tab with just the headers. This is very useful, a one row sheet. If you want to create the headers and you're using some kind of third party like Zapier, Hably, Integromat, or Make, and you're adding data into this sheet from some external source, you want to delete all the column, all the rows of that sheet, all everything, and you want just the headers, 
you can start with just a one row sheet and say, here, put this information here. That is a few of the reasons why I might need one by one or a one column sheet or a one row sheet. And I hope that you too would like something like this. And it's a completely free tool. Go to tinysheets.bettersheets.co to look more into it and some a little bit more information and also just to install it. You can also go up to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons. And if you just type in tiny sheets, let's see, let's show you tiny sheets. It will show up and you can install it. Already 12,000 people have installed tiny sheets. Oh my God. Enjoy. It's absolutely free for everyone. It's Google Sheet add-on that you start small and make your sheets much bigger with tiny sheets. Enjoy. Bye.